Bonjour. I am very proud to invite you to read the research papers from our recent special issue on COVID-19 and aging in Canada. They deal with the impacts of the pandemic on our seniors in different health contexts and living environment. In the following video, the main authors of four articles will briefly present their research project and result. I thank the CIHR Institute of Aging for their financial support to produce this video and I wish you a great viewing. CIHR, the Canadian Institutes of Health Research, is Canada's federal funding agency for health research. The Institute of Aging is one of the 13 institutes of CIHR. A critical aspect embedded within the mandate of a CHR Institute is to bring the community together and mobilize research results towards improving health of Canadians. As we know, COVID-19 has been particularly devastating for older Canadians. Research into the impacts of COVID-19 on the health and well-being of older adults now and in the pandemic recovery period is critical. The CHR Institute of Aging is committed to supporting research in this area and mobilizing these research results. The CHR Institute of Aging is pleased to collaborate with the Canadian Journal on Aging in this knowledge mobilization activity to promote this special edition of the journal focusing on the impacts of COVID-19 on older adults. Our study aimed to examine relationships between mental health and social connectedness across adult age groups to better understand Canadians' mental health during the pandemic. Despite increased vulnerability to COVID infection, older adults reported better mental health, less anxiety, depression, stress, and less loneliness than younger adults. We hope our findings can inform clinicians' choices of interventions for younger and older adults. Younger adults may benefit from interventions to increase resilience, while older adults who are lonely may benefit from increased social support. To understand the experiences of people living with dementia, we need to hear from them directly. In our study, we conducted qualitative interviews with people living with dementia to explore the impacts of COVID-19 on their well-being and social connections. Participants described the worries, fears, and frustrations they experienced, and the significant impact that isolation had on them, highlighting the importance of being socially connected. Participants also described how they were able to adapt to the challenges of COVID-19, demonstrating their strength and resilience. We need to recognize the diversity of people living with dementia and tailor programs and supports to match their individual needs, abilities, and circumstances. Our survey documents the issues, experience, and the strategies used by community organizations to adapt their services to older adults and their caregivers during the first wave of COVID-19 in the province of Quebec. Acting with agility, they have mostly maintained certain services that meet essential needs or that could be adapted using technology, while they have had to reduce others, such as respite care for caregivers. In response to major challenges for identifying and supporting the older adults at higher risk of isolation, accessing and using technology, recruiting volunteers, and ensuring continuity of services, many of the solutions used have involved the creation of community and cross-cultural partnerships. Understanding these issues and solutions may help support the capacity of community organizations to continue to act as a critical connection point for older adults in other crisis situations. Now, my team and I interviewed a group of healthy older adults to understand how COVID-related public health guidelines affected their everyday lives. The older adults we interviewed were anxious about getting COVID, but they were also worried about the long-term implications that staying at home might have on their physical and mental health. Online or backyard social and leisure activities provided some sense of social connection and continuity, but they were less pleasurable, more sedentary, and did not fully alleviate feelings of boredom and loneliness. 
An important message is that public health guidelines and community services should develop ways to support older adults in maintaining a healthy lifestyle through the pandemic to ensure that COVID prevention doesn't pose a risk on their overall health and well-being.